Good afternoon, Nebraska. This is um, Big H here. Um, all the way from Dallas uh, to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. Um, I went up to the Hy-Vee store and as soon as I started to set up, a cop came over and he said, I've got to move along, which is all good. As long as I'm not on public, I'm on, as long as I'm not on um, private property, I'm good. You may wonder why I'm here. I'm originally from the UK, but um, we're up from Dallas. We could be doing a contract on one of the hotels there. And we're also here to preach the gospel. So, what is the gospel? The gospel is the good news. The good news is Jesus Christ. And I'm sure everybody here in Nebraska have heard of a man called Jesus who died on the cross for your sins. Now you might look at me, you might think, oh, he's got this crazy dude out here, it's very cold, and he's got a microphone, I wonder what he's doing. Well, I'm here to talk about repentance, because Jesus Christ is coming. That's the bottom line. Whether you want to believe it or you don't want to believe it, Jesus Christ is coming, so we're here to speak about repentance. What is repentance? Repentance is turning away from the things of this world. Hallelujah. That's what repentance is. Repentance is turning away and giving your, your heart to Christ. Because Jesus came and he died for you. This is why we go all over the, the U.S. and we preach the Angel, which is the good news that Jesus Christ loves you. But guess what? One day you're going to stand before him and you're going to have to give an account of your life. Do you realize that? All these things you have is temporary. The cars are going to pass away. Your husband's going to pass away. Your wife is going to pass away. Your kids are going to pass away. All your possessions. But one day you're going to stand before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And you're going to have to give an account of your life. What will that be? Will Jesus say, welcome, my good and faithful servant? Or will he say, depart from me, I know you're not? Don't you realize that we're living in perilous times? Perilous times we're living in. Hallelujah. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that who shall believe of him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When I came up here last week, Friday, me and my brother, Brother Daniel, we took the bus from Dallas and it took us about 17 or 18 hours to get here. Hallelujah. And we're here on a three months contract. Um, a total remodel of one of the hotels. I'm not going to name the hotel. But we're not just here, as I said, for, to work. We're here to, to harvest and to reap souls to to cast out the net like the disciples done. When Jesus was on earth, he called the disciples one by one. And he says, I'm going to make you fishermen to catch souls. This is why we're here, to let you know that this life is going to be over soon. And your real you, the spirit of you, is going to live on forever. But where are you going to reign? Are you going to reign in a place called hell? And yes, hell is a real place, whether you believe it or not. Or will you reign with Jesus Christ? I used to be a sinner. I used to do all the things that everybody else does. But glory be to God, one day my eyes was open. Hallelujah. And I accepted Jesus in my life. And that was the best thing I ever done, was to accept Jesus Christ. You know why? Because I know I'm guaranteed eternal life. If I should perish, if I should die, I know that my soul is safe with the Lord. Can you say that about yourself, Nebraska? Hallelujah. Happy Lord, can you say that about yourself? If you shall die today, will you make heaven your eternity home? Hallelujah. Or is it that hard to give up that woman on the side? Why is it so hard to give up sin? 
It's so easy to do wickedness and to do the things which are good. Hallelujah. This is why we need the Holy Spirit. This is why we need Jesus in our life. He's the one that can change you from the inside outwards. The Bible says, come as you are, but do not remain as you are. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know what? I love what I do. I love preaching the gospel. I love spreading the good news because we are commissioned by God to do that. We are commissioned by the disciples to speak the good news to those who want to hear. Even those who don't want to hear. God loves you, my young man. You know that God loves you very much. Hallelujah. I love you too. This is why I'm here. Let you know that Jesus is real. If Jesus Christ can change my life, he surely can change yours. Hallelujah. God is good. All the time, God is good. And this is why we do what we do on the streets of the U.S. We go into all the world and we talk about Jesus. Because you know what? He's coming. No one knows when he's coming. But we know that he's coming. Jesus said, I will go and I will come back and I will prepare a place for you. God bless you, my young man. God bless you. Jesus is coming again. Are you ready to meet your eternal father? People might laugh. It's just like the day of Noah. People are partying and still doing the same thing. But in the twinkling of eye, Jesus Christ will appear. And those saints who are ready to go with him will go with him. What are you going to do if you're left behind? What will you do when the Antichrist comes and he reigns for seven and a half years? What are you going to do when Satan is going to let all rip on earth? If there's no Holy Ghost here, what are you going to do? Life is temporary. Life is so short, it's like a vapor. You're here today, you're gone tomorrow. Tomorrow, in fact, is not guaranteed. But full eternity with Jesus is guaranteed. Hallelujah. This is why we preach the angel, which is a good news. I'm not here to condemn anybody's faith or to put anybody's faith down. I'm here to let you know that Jesus Christ is coming back. Whether you like it or not, God bless you, young man. Jesus Christ will come. And you will have to give an account. And you will stand before him. And he will show you the whole of your life in front of millions and millions of others. Can you imagine Jesus saying, I never knew you depart from me. What a terrible thing that would be. God bless you, young man. You know that God loves you? The very reason why you're breathing is because of God. This is the thing people don't realize. People love to blame Jesus and blame God for this and for that. Oh, well, how why is that young girl died? Why did that young girl get raped? It's because of sin. It has nothing to do with Jesus. Jesus came and he done it all. He laid down his life for you and me. Jesus laid his life down. No one took it from him because he loved you so much. He came as flesh in human form and perished on the cross of Calvary for you, my love. Hallelujah. I give thanks to God that I'm here. A few weeks ago, I was going through some real hardship financially. And I can remember putting a blog out on TikTok saying, what are you going to do when your back's against the wall? If your wife or your husband leaves you, you lose your house, you lose your car. And I was in that situation just a few weeks ago. It was like a job situation. Everywhere I turned, the enemy was locking the door. And I was going, God, where are you? God, where are you? That's my prayer. In fact, at one point, I began to doubt. And I had to repent and remember who I was. And in the twinkling of an eye, hallelujah. Jesus came through with his massive contract. So, I'm here to go hard for Christ. Because you know, God never fails. He never fails you where man would fail you.